Hey guys, so it's been a while since I put a video up. I've been doing a lot of live streams lately, so I figured I'd do a real quick video. Um, by the way, after this video, I'll be starting a live stream. Uh, the New York Stock Exchange opens at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so I'll probably start the stream around uh, about 8.30 or so. So uh, if you want to check out that live stream, it'll be up after this video. But for Bitcoin, um, if, if we push up, my first target above is around 11,205, this line right here. Is it going to be your resistance? And if we drop, uh, your support is going to be around 10,673. You see this white line right here. So these are my uh, upside downside targets. I made a post on Twitter that it seemed likely, this is the DXY chart right here. Uh, it seemed likely that we'd find support on this ring. We've been inspecting this FIB circle. I'll show you this chart in just a minute, but it does seem like we're pushing up. Remember guys, if the dollar's up, Bitcoin down, dollar's down, Bitcoin up. Um, if as long as we hold support and push up, it's possible the stock market pushes down too. We're slightly in the negative, so we'll have to see how this plays out. I want to cover just a couple charts. I'm gonna give you some price targets for Chainlink as well. So this is my uh, BTC rising wedge. If you have access to the uh, to the charts, this is the first the first or second chart under BTC related. All I want to point out with this is, um, and this is back here when COVID happened and we had our major our major dump. But if you notice. Uh, this ring, it pushed us down, and do notice this ring here, we crossed it and then rode down the outside of the ring. So we were in this rising wedge, we broke down, notice we formed this kind of little rounding bottom right here, we found support, as soon as we broke that support we dropped. I would like to point out, it looks like the same thing's happening right here. You know, we're in a rising wedge, we broke down, we found temporary support, we dropped. We're in this huge rising wedge here. We broke down, found temporary support. It could be temporary support. It makes more sense that we'd be coming down. This kind of goes along with the stock market as well. I just wanted to point that out. I do have these a little ghosted, so you could kind of, I just wanted you to, you know, take notice of the rising wedge and where we found temporary support. It does look like it's repeating, like this could potentially just ride down the outside of this ring. But as far as uh, bottom targets, so my first major, um, support level that I'll be buying in is around 7,400. Uh, if we drop below that, it will be this red ring. This red ring is also the same red ring we bottomed on right here. So it's likely that if we bottom, it would be around this area. So that's close to 7,400. If that does not hold, uh, the next bottom target that I'm looking at is potentially around 2,938. And of course, the next uh, red ring below would be around 2642. So I just wanted to point that out, guys. It could go either way. I just think down is more likely. Uh, I want to cover this. So this is the DXY chart. Um, and again, you know, I'd made a tweet about this. We've been respecting, let me get rid of the MACD and RSI. If you notice, we've been respecting this uh, orange FIP circle here. Every time we hit it, we find support, resistance. We've been respecting this orange FIP circle. And you'll notice we came down as soon as we hit this orange ring, we started pushing back up. So obviously if this drops back down, we break this support. Um, and I have multiple DXY charts. I just want to show those some because this happens to have a ring here where temp we call it temporary support. You know, if we drop below that, you know, the next support is going to be this trend line. Um, this trend line has been keeping the dollar down back since uh, May 14. This was resistance, resistance, a lot of resistance here. So again, if, if, we, if we drop down, uh, your support for the dollar, if we break this ring, will be right around here, around 92.26. If we push up, notice we keep testing this green, this green ring right here. It was a lot of support, a lot of support, support and resistance. You know, it's, it kept being resistance, 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 got rejected it again. It's very possible we push up. Again, if this pushes all the way up to this 93.55, Expect um, you know stocks to start coming down and Bitcoin will come down as well. Dollars bullish, then you know it's bearish for the stock market and for Bitcoin. Obviously, break this support, come down to 92.26. It's the opposite. Bitcoin will go up, stocks will go up. I did want to point that out. We are holding support. We'll watch how this uh, plays out during the live stream. This is the uh, Dow Jones chart. I expected a move to happen sooner. Uh, this is on the daily. You can see we are what one two three four days so this will be what the fifth day when the market opens i do think it's still possible we could have a move I, I just want to point out you know every time we cross one of these orange rings we have a drop uh right here you know we didn't have as much of a drop but we did have a drop right here is when COVID happened this is when we had this major drop uh take note you know we found support on this ring we found support on this ring we did find support on this ring we bottomed on this ring uh, down here at the right here 
we push back up resistance at this ring. Uh, let me get my brush tool out here. So you can see we, we pushed up, we found resistance, resistance, then we found support, support, and we came up, we, we hit this as resistance, this is where I put in my short, we came back down to the bottom of it, found support, we had ju we just now crossed this ring. Again, I expected a move to happen sooner, sometimes these things do take a while, but I think it is possible this could play out just like this previous ring. You know, Maybe it's a few days, maybe it's Monday, but I do think it's possible that what happened here could play out here. And just to give you a target, if uh, if we come down, your first downside target, your your first major support. There are other support levels. I have a lot cleared off of this chart, but your first major support, if we did have a, a pretty pretty substantial drop, would be around twenty three thousand eight hundred seventy four. And of course, if we broke this, you know, your next major support will be the same ring we bottomed on last time. I mean, that's if things get really bad. But again, just wanted to show you that, you know, what I'm still waiting for. I, I still think it's very possible this starts heading in a downward direction. We could get the bounces on the way. So if it was right here, you know, this would potentially be 24,414. So we'll have to watch how this plays out. But to me, it does seem like the stock market could start turning bearish. Uh, real quick, quick with the link, um, you can see this is, um, this white flip circle right here has been a lot of support. Currently, it's resistance. I think a, a good buy-in point. Again, this is not financial advice, guys, but in this, this is how I tell you to play these charts. Go back and look and see how strong the previous um, uh, line was for support and resistance. So, if you go back, let me take this off the 15 minute here. I'll put it on the one hour. If you'll notice this line right here, and you see there's there's a green fib channel line right here. I got this yellow line over it to represent where it's at. You see, it was a lot of support, a lot of resistance, a lot of support and resistance. So if you pull this out, you follow this line, notice we almost bottomed right here. So if you're looking for a good buy-in point for um, Chainlink, I think, and again, you know, you have to take a chance. It's always possible we could break through this. But just seeing how many times this line was tested, I mean, you can see currently we're finding support uh, right here on this, this line in this VIP channel here. So if we do break down below this point, I do think a likely uh, point to catch a bounce or if you want to potentially long would be right here around uh, $9.95. Of course, if you're more out here, this would be $10. And if we push up, while yes, we could get rejected at any time, uh, I just would like to point out this ring has been very strong resistance. Got rejected here, 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 and here. So if we do push up, this would be the point I would short from or get out. So I just want to point that out for Chainlink. Uh, again, guys, if you want to access these charts, um, you can visit the website. It's opticalartcrypto.com. The link will be in the description. Also, follow me on Twitter. It's uh, Optical Art Chart. That link will be in the description as well. But, guys, that's it. If you want to uh, join us in that live stream, it should be up in a couple hours. That's it.